so lately I've been uh, just reflecting on the thing that really helped me develop the mindset that I have the uh, the go get it mentality the thing that helped me um, realize that what I wanted out of life was actually possible I was reflecting on that moment because you know it could have happened at any it could have happened at any time maybe a conversation I had with a, with a, a uncle of mine's or maybe a, a line I read in a book something I seen on TV or read in an article it could have happened at any moment the shift the thing that really drove me over the edge and, and, and gave me the mindset that I have and the belief system that I have I was reflecting on uh, what that moment was and I think ultimately it really came down to the books that I was reading um, I know a lot of people don't read especially you know 2020 um, those numbers have dropped dramatically people just don't read no more it's just not a it's just not a universal thing but there are people who still do and I'm fortunate enough to be one of those people who decided to go ahead and try it. Um, back in like 2015 is when I picked up my first book. Um, in like five, 10 years, it was the science of getting rich. I always talk about that. But um, that book, it wasn't the, that wasn't the only book that influenced me. I believe um, when I read As a Man Thinketh by James Allen, that's a really good one. Um, he taught me a lot, man, spiritually, a lot about the mind. And I just started uh, applying the things that he was teaching me. And I remember those books really just empowering like the decisions that I was making afterwards. You know, I would make bold decisions after reading a book. Like I had a buddy who read Contagious. He read that book and then took a fucking uh, 13 hour drive to Florida. He said that's how inspired he was after like reading the literature in the book. He decided to take a drive to Florida <laughs> and just like try to go after it. So. Um, you know, we all have those motivated moments where we just feel pumped to just go after it and go get it. But sometimes the shift is permanent. It's not just a moment. It's something that inspires you for a lifetime. So, um, like I said, the literature that I was coming across really played a huge part and, uh, helping me just believing that it was that the success and having a fulfilled lifestyle was even possible. So... If you haven't decided to dive in books in the last couple of years, you feel like it's a waste of time, you feel like it's slowing you down, um, you might want to think again. It might be beneficial. Like, I even just did a video on the fact that even after you're done reading books, you're going to have to go execute and all of that. But I'm trying to I'm trying to put myself inside the mindset of a person who don't know the principles about life that I know and understand. So if you don't know these principles and things enough to believe them, enough to make them um, a part of just your your everyday life then i encourage people to go back and dive into some of that ancient wisdom and and just see how that knowledge literally still applies to this day and age it's so powerful y'all it's so powerful how a person who was alive and 400 bc can still give an east side detroiter some advice like literally lao tzu you know he wrote um he wrote the tao Te Ching. And just the fucking grand level wisdom that this man gave me and that I apply in my everyday life is just incredible. So, like, when these people wrote these books, I wonder what they thinking. Like, yeah, this shit going to penetrate for thousands of years. I don't even know if they was thinking on that level. I think they was just too busy putting out and putting out their content, you know, putting out their literature. So, but um, maybe that's maybe that's where your unlock is. Like, just take a step back. Like, look you got time you got time to sit down and dive into some literature and read a couple books um and if y'all want some suggestions hit me up like you know dm me i'll send y'all five of my top five so um you have to you have to figure out what's for you though because ultimately you know books ain't for everybody but figure out what's for you like figure out what type of content or or like what information it is that you are probably lacking. I mean, I know you don't know what you don't know, but you do know what you know you need to know. <laughs> if that makes sense. Like, you know, I've been like editing more videos and I know it's a lot more I need to learn about like, you know, uh, Adobe Premiere and Final Cut Pro. Eventually I'm gonna dive into that. I know that's what I need to know. So like I said, you know things that you need to know. Like, so, you know, figure out what it is 
that's holding you back. Maybe you haven't had that mindset shift yet, but that's what it's going to take. I say heavily dive into literature and just, just see what it can offer you. You know, happy Tuesday, y'all. Another day to go after it. Um, that's my second video I did. Um, just trying to get into the habit of, like I said, just, just being, you know, just being live more, I guess. Uh, just giving people more access this year. Um, a lot of behind the scenes footage is going to be out this year, so. Um, man, I was just, I, I was in the shower this morning and I was just being so grateful for uh, just things that I have yet to have and things that I have yet to experience. Um, if you don't know the power of gratitude yet, um, man, you are missing out on something incredible. Like, I wish I could show it in my facial expression. I wish you could hear it in my voice. Um, but I'm really, really trying to emphasize the power of just being grateful uh, for things that you, you have yet to even have or experience. You're sending, you're sending, you sending energy in some direction when you, when you, when you're expressing gratitude. Like that energy is reaching something. It's going somewhere. It's reaching something. And what goes around comes around. What you, what you give is what you ultimately get. Every action has a reaction. So when you're grateful, sending out that energy into the universe, it's responding. Like it's literally responding to like the things that you're grateful for. So I was already grateful to the fact that. Um, you know, this morning in the shower, I was just so grateful that I get paid to create content. I'm so grateful that, you know, my lifestyle is, just, uh, is, is ultimately makes money around the thing that I love, right? So all overall grateful for it. And you can't use gratitude to try to like trick the universe. It has to be genuine, right? It has to be sincere. And um, I don't know how you like hit that switch in your mind to make something sincere or less sincere or genuine, less genuine. I don't know how you hit that switch, but uh, you know in your heart of hearts if you mean something or not. So I say just mean it. Like when you're when you're when you're expressing your gratitude for what you want and what you have yet to have, just mean it. It's that simple. <laughs> you know. So everything I'm grateful for is genuine. I, I literally mean it and uh, I try to make sure I like feel those little moments of my day with gratitude like those little moments like where I'm like just maybe uh, walking down the hallway or I'm in the bathroom or um, you know looking out the window or something like just those little moments I try to just be aggressive about expressing gratitude to the universe you know, because we sometimes we we fail to make, um, you know, make that expression. We fail to show that we're grateful, and that's the thing. Yo, know, somebody's always watching. Whatever you believe that entity is, something is watching you. Something is listening to your every thoughts, and responding to your every thoughts, and just obeying what's there. So if it's negativity on your mind a lot, the universe has to grant you what you've been what you've been ultimately cooking up that's how it works your mind is basically a soil field and you can just plant whatever you want in there and it'll definitely grow so when you're just planting seeds of gratitude it's just like fuck right it's so powerful so maybe that's your unlock waking up every morning I dare you to wake up every morning for 20-30 days just try it out Express your gratitude for something. Genuine, genuine gratitude for something that can, you know, realistically be attained in that amount of time. Express your gratitude for it and see what happens. It's funny, but um, yeah, it's like it's only two options. It's only two options, like, in your mind. You get all, at any moment, you're either thinking negatively or positively. It's hard to think negatively when you're paying too much attention to, like, your outside reality. Um, when 
things are just not going how you want them to go. Bills got to get paid. You're probably in some debt, car trouble, fire from your job. It's easy to think negative when these things are happening. But what makes you a god, what makes you a mastermind is when you can ignore your current reality and just hold the thought of the reality that you that you picture and that you imagine. That's the most powerful thing that a human being can do. Like, when I think about that, I'm like, damn, what if I was like a slave or something? You know, this is uh, the 1800s, I was a slave and shit. Like, who would have been around to teach me at the time to like ignore my current reality and just hold the vision of what I want my life to look like? Um, I don't know who would have delivered that message, but I guarantee there were slaves who had strong, positive mindsets who believed that something more was possible and envisioned something more being possible and then something more happened for them. I guarantee you those those uh, individuals were out there, you know, because nobody and nothing can stop you from, from getting what's ultimately yours. You know, it's just a matter of the universe moving out your way at that point once you already have the vision. So this machine, this universal machine, is a machine that just responds to thought ultimately um, we get what we want I was listening to Joe Rogan the other day and he mentioned the fact that people don't we're not we're not having this conversation that we are living on a giant fucking ball in the middle of space that's just floating and f like flying and going like why, why are we not having this conversation <laughs> Like, what would that even be like? Like, I'm going to bring that up today a couple of times to a couple of different people. But why, why, why aren't we having this conversation, dude, that this fucking ball is flying in space in the middle of no fucking where? <laughs> because it gets too deep. It gets too deep for a lot of people. Um, it gets It gets too spiritual for them. You know, sometimes the mind can't even comprehend on that level. It's like, I'm, I'm, I don't want nothing to do with that that level of thought. But that's the reality, guys. I mean, this shit is impossible. How the fuck is a ball in the sky flying? Like, that shit is impossible. So understanding that um, these things are impossible, you realize you already live in a world where impossible already happened. So why are your goals in life? Why is your vision? Why is that so impossible? The reality is it's not. You know, it's possible. That's the reality of whatever it is that you're after. And that's been my whole entrepreneurial journey. I always said that I wanted to prove, my, prove to my mom that success is a real thing, you know. I know she's of the mindset. Her mindset isn't at that level yet where she even think about or comprehend like success you know days are just days to her and she just kind of respond um i guess that's just like an inherent trait like when you come out of a person you know, when they have you when you're born this is an inherent thing that just want to make them proud so um that's the boat that we all in and you know i know everybody don't have a good relationship with their parents but we all want to make somebody proud you know or just prove success to somebody. I think the reality of it is, and what I ultimately have to accept is that everybody won't be around to enjoy the fruits of the hard work. And uh, I fully accepted that. I don't control who's around in the next year or who's around tomorrow. I don't. We don't control these things, so I fully accept that. I don't even know if my family's going to be around for me to be able to, like, you know, just share my share my wealth with them. That is a tough uh, pill to swallow. And somehow I managed to swallow it though, you know. I could be celebrating everything that I accomplished in the next 10, 15 years with complete strangers, like you know, people that I don't even know today. You know? That's how the that's how the world moves. Like things can definitely change like that. So Acceptance, acceptance of the way things are, understanding what you can't change, 
appreciating that. Living life on this magical ball. I figured out how to fly and provide life. Provide oxygen for you to breathe and for you to think, for you to thrive. And accepting that, understanding that the impossible has already happened. By you even being here, by you even being born, by your, the spaceship you live on to even be flying, that's impossible. Whatever your goals are, be grateful for them already being accomplished every single day. Don't tell me that that's corny. Don't tell me that it's cliche. Don't tell me that it ain't gonna work. If you can't tell me how the fuck a ball is in the sky flying in the middle of nowhere, so try it out. Like I said, if y'all got any, uh, you know, want any recommendations for books, hit me up. Um, that's my morning commute, and I'll catch y'all tomorrow.